Hi everyone. If you're navigating life with a chronic autoimmune condition or certain blood cancers, there's a good chance you've heard of a medication called rituxan, also known by its generic name, rituximab. I'm Dr. Razayan, a specialist in arthritis and autoimmune diseases, and in today's video, we're diving into what rituxan does, how it works in your body, who it's for, and what you need to know about safety and effectiveness. Before we begin, please remember, this video is for education and inspiration only. It's not medical advice. Always speak with your healthcare provider before making any decisions about your treatment. Rituxan is a monoclonal antibody, which means it's a lab-created protein designed to attach to a specific target in the body. That target is called CD20, a marker found on B cells, a type of white blood cell that's part of your immune system. In some autoimmune diseases, these B cells become overactive and begin attacking the body's own tissues. In certain cancers like lymphoma, the B cells themselves grow uncontrollably. Rituxan works by binding to CD20 and signaling the immune system to eliminate these abnormal B cells, either by apoptosis, complement activation, or cellular cytotoxicity. The result? A decrease in immune overactivity and autoantibody production which can help relieve symptoms and prevent long-term damage. Rituxan was first approved for blood cancers, but its use has since expanded. It's currently FDA approved for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, chronic lymphocytic leukemia, rheumatoid arthritis used when tumor necrosis factor inhibitors are not effective, granulomatosis with polyangiitis formerly Wegener's, microscopic polyangiitis, Pemphigus vulgaris, a rare blistering skin disease. In real-world clinical practice, rituxan is also used off-label for conditions such as systemic lupus erythematosus, Huygren's syndrome, mastitis, autoimmune hemolytic anemia, cryoglobulinemic vasculitis, IgG4-related disease, neuromyelitis optica, multiple sclerosis, Though not all of these uses are FDA-approved, there's a growing body of research and clinical experience supporting them. Rituxan is administered intravenously, usually in an infusion center or hospital setting. The most common dosing schedules include rheumatoid arthritis, 1,000 mg on day 1 and day 15, repeated every 6 months, vasculitis, either 375 mg per mita once a week for four weeks or 1,000 mg twice, spaced two weeks apart. You'll usually get pre-medication before each infusion to reduce the risk of infusion-related reactions. This is one of its major advantages. You typically only need it once or twice every six to 12 months. Some people remain in remission for even longer. Because it depletes B cells for months, it allows for a break between treatments. That makes it ideal for patients who struggle with daily pills or weekly injections. In rheumatoid arthritis, rituxan has been shown to improve joint pain, stiffness, and fatigue, decrease swelling and inflammation, slow or prevent joint damage, help patients who failed other biologics. In vasculitis, it is considered a first-line treatment and has proven to be as effective or even superior to cyclophosphamide for inducing remission. In Pemphigus vulgaris, the Rituxx-3 study showed Rituxan led to faster remission and reduced dependence on long-term steroids. Let's talk safety. Common side effects include infusion reactions, fever, chills, headache, low blood pressure, fatigue, nausea, muscle aches. Serious but rare risks include severe infections, hepatitis B reactivation, Progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy, PML. Late onset neutropenia. Hypogammaglobulinemia. Before starting rituxan, your doctor will typically check complete blood count, liver and kidney function, hepatitis B panel, immunoglobulin levels, possibly tuberculosis or HIV testing. During treatment, your labs will be monitored regularly. Medication comparison. I4 every 6 to 12 months, moderate high infection risk. TNF inhibitors, injection weekly to monthly, moderate risk. IL-6 inhibitors, monthly IV or injection, moderate risk. JAK inhibitors, daily oral high risk. You might consider rituxan if you have seropositive rheumatoid arthritis, 
You have vasculitis and need rapid control. You want a long-acting option. You've had side effects with other treatments. You have overactive B-cell-related disease. Tips. Update vaccines before starting. Avoid live vaccines during and shortly after rituxan. Report infections early. Notify your doctor of any neurologic symptoms. Final takeaway. Rituxan isn't a one-size-fits-all solution, but when used carefully and with proper monitoring, it can be a powerful tool. Its long-lasting effects and success in tough cases make it a valuable option. Thank you for watching. I'm Dr. Rizayan. Stay informed, stay curious, and stay empowered.